Alright, so. I'm trying to set. I've been spending like 20 minutes or so trying to set this up. But unfortunately. Game Shark codes wouldn't even work for blue, even. So I kind of figured, you know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna do it on yellow. Because. Yellow is actually my favorite version of the Gen 1 games. And it's the version I did this challenge on my own time, on my like physical cartridge using my Game Boy Advance. Like I did this on my the actual cartridge itself. And it was a pain in the ass. Now here's a problem. I am going to have to catch a female Nidoran first, level it up to Nidorina, use a Moonstone at, to a, at a certain point into Needle Queen, and then I'm gonna, I have to have then I use just Needle Queen in battle the, the entire game, pretty much after I catch the Nidoran. Yeah. It's Generation 1. If you don't know the Generation 1 intro, like, come on. You live under a rock. I'm just gonna name this guy Dave. Because, I don't know. You've seen this intro many times, so I'm just going to go ahead and just fast forward. Also, you might want to get used to this because I'm going to be doing this a lot. Yeah, unlike yellow, I mean red, green, and blue, yellow does it differently, so I had to, like, do that. I had to show that off, because, yeah. The, this battle is mandatory, so it doesn't really matter if I ha win or lose this battle. Again, it's mandatory, so I have to do this. <laughs> and obviously we're not going to do that because we're not going to have Pikachu very long. Now I, the rule is only in battle can I use my Nido Queen. Like for TM, for HMs and stuff, I will have to have other Pokemon because, yeah. And of course, gotta. Deliver Oak's custom Pokeball because, yeah. I, again, it's I am playing this on my Chromebook, which is why I'm a full screen and not like, yeah. Now I do have, I did buy two Pokeballs because I will need Pidgey. 
I will need Pidgey at one point for Fly, of course, because I'm going to be doing the Mew glitch because Mew can learn literally any move, so I'm going to make Mew my HM slave, which is why I'm going for Pidgey first. And what do you know? Here it is. No, I wanted a safe state. Again, I'm playing on my Chromebook, so... I get access to stuff like that. Easy. Let's talk to this. We have to do this. Like, unlike red in red and blue, th it's mandatory in this. So I have to talk to that guy regardless, unfortunately. Yeah, if you hear, like, really loud clicking. That's, like... That's the controller I'm using because I'm using the three I'm using the 360 controller this time around instead of my PS4 controller like it normally would. I'm using the 360 controller. I fucked up, but you know what? That's why. We save. Now, I want a level 4 need, female neater in. Why do I want a level 4? Because more damage. That's a male. Whew. This is why I have, this is why I would play on emulator. <laughs> now, obviously I'm not trying to hurt it, but I might honestly have to. Or not. All right, now. Game is set. Gonna deposit Pikachu. Now, I don't recommend doing this because it gets really fucking difficult later on. So I do not recommend doing you do this for your own sanity. Like it took me like four or five days. I beat it in like six. I beat it in slightly over six and a half hours in game time. But it felt something really like ten hours in real time. Not in game time. Real time. Now, like wild battles and stuff like that, I'm going to be fast forwarding and stuff. But in like location like Rocket Hideout, for example, gym battles, you know, everything else. 
just wild battles and stuff, I'm going to fast forward because, again, it's easier to do it that way. Now I'm going to get to level 7 before I go to Viridian Forest. And places like this where I will, like, ooh, level 6 Carapy, don't mind if I do. And I do have soda on me, so I'm good. Okay. So you're just gonna lower my attack. Okay. I do have a potion though, so if I need to use the potion, I'll I'll use it. In fact, I got two potions. Yeah, in this game, you get like seven no you get seven normal potions free in Gen One. I've got two. Currently. So if I need to use them, I will use them. I've got scratch. Alright. This is going to do more damage than tackle. Even with my attack lowered, it's still going to do more damage than tackle. She, now she's trying to lower my defense. <laughs> she's not doing a very good job of it. Oh, I got three potions. Okay. Yeah, these are normal potions, by the way. You get seven free normal potions. Not counting full restore, super potions, hyper potions, max potions. Not counting those. I'm talking normal potions. She's still lowering my accuracy. My defense, not my accuracy. She's still lowering my defense. Why? Get out of my face. Had to get the Pokeball real quick. But yeah, for the vast majority of the game, this is what my team is going to look like. <laughs> Pretty much. Except I'm gonna have a Nido Queen instead of Nidoran. Okay. 
two more levels and I've got double kick. Which I'm going to have, again, the vast majority of the game. Because, yeah. Double kick, really going to come in handy, let me tell you. Why are you lowering my speed? It's not going to do anything for you. And remember, I had to do this on card. I did this on an actual cartridge, meaning I didn't get any fast forward features or anything. I ha I did this all in real time. No fast forward. Six and a half hours, just over six and a half hours. This is level nine Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto. That's bullshit, dude. I fucking hate sand attack. Like, if they hadn't used sand attack, of, of course, I would have won that battle, but... Of course, wild Pokemon are full of bullshit. I forgot I had fast forward enabled. That's in the, that's potion three potion number four right there. By the way, I want to name my rivals something else, but, but you know, people would say I'm harassing someone, and obviously I'm not, but, you know, they can think that they're, if they want, they're stupid, but to avoid that, I didn't. Eight damage, oh, that's pretty, ooh. Actually... I might, I should be fine. Level 12, he's gonna send out his EV and I have double kick, I'm, I'm fine. Now when I played this on my cartridge, he ended up getting a Jolteon. He might get Jolteon this time around, which is going to be an issue because Jolteon couldn't learn Pid Missile. And Bug is super effective against Poison, which Nidoqueen is. So, yeah. And it can hit up to five times too, so. Yeah, not a good night. Let's hope he doesn't get Jolteon.
Zoltion obviously isn't the ideal evolution we want him to have. If anything, Flareon would be. But there's a low, ch very low chance he picks Flareon. What's funny is I didn't even mean to use Double Kick right there. I meant to use Scratch. But it worked. <laughs> I did enough <laughs> without being damaged. So, I'll take it. And obviously, fighting does very little to bug types. But since I'm level, th I'm level 13, it's like a level 4 Caterpie. Like, yeah, that's not going to do much for him. That's going to still go do more than it normally would against something else. Especially it's especially fucking Butterfree. <laughs> Why are you lowering my speed? What's that going to do for you? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? What was the point? <laughs> Why would you just lower my speed and just do nothing else? And then fail the very last... Why? <laughs> it's Generation 1 AI for you. They're really fucking stupid early on. But they become really fucking difficult. You soon enough. Like the hardest part of the game I did on my cartridge was Misty. Believe it or not, Misty, Lance himself, my final rival battle to become champion was easier than Misty was. I reset. 21 times against Misty before beating her. 21 times. <laughs> I am not kidding. Like, she was really fucking difficult. That's free potion number five, by the way. But yeah, this is not easy. I do not recommend this. And again, this is before Brock. Wait until we get to Misty. You're going to see what I mean. Like, I got to level 29 before I beat Misty. And I had just barely beat her. I had like, what, 4 HP left when I beat Misty? Like, it was not easy. <laughs> It was not easy. It was all because of her Starmie too. Like, even in Gen 1, Misty's Starmie is fucking hard as shit. <laughs> bubble Beam? It has Bubble Beam. And Hearted. So yeah, you bet we're not making it. You bet we're not going to be doing much. And she likes to use X defense as well. So, yeah. I had to get to level 29 to do shit. Before I beat Misty. It was not easy. Like, sure, I could have just waited to evolve into Nido, Nido Queen, just kept my Nidorina, and then leveled it up a good amount of levels. But, you know, I needed the extra damage. So, yeah. S but seriously, why can... How can Diglett learn Scratch... <laughs> I 
But yeah, again, I couldn't get Game Shark codes to work on even blue version. So I kind of had to resort to actually having to catch a Nidoran. And I chose yellow version because double, because at level 12, both male and female Nidoran can learn double kick at level 12. Whereas in red and blue, they can't. So, and plus, since I did this in yellow version on my own time, on my physical cartridge, I figured, you know what, I might as well do it on yellow. Instead of blue. And again, I did this in real time on my physical cartridge, so I didn't get fast forward at all. Fast forward was not an option. <laughs> Meaning for over six and a half hours, I was playing this with just my needle queen, needle queen, and the original pair of batteries I had in my Game Boy when I got it back actually fucking died, so I had I did have to switch batteries, and of course, I did beat it. So, yeah. I'm gonna lower my defense, which isn't gonna do much. We, we evolve here, by the way. We're about to level up and evolve. Really? <laughs> oh, I'll take it. <laughs> and I've used Nidorina in yellow version so many times, I know when it's going to level up and when it's going to evolve. I literally know when it's going to level up and when it is going to evolve. And what moves it learns. Yeah. <laughs> More specifically, yellow version. Because when I got my first copy of ye my first physical cartridge of yellow it, with the Game Boy back in 8th grade when I had my first copy of the cartridge of the game. I I ended up having getting, beating the game with like a level 85 Needle Queen. <laughs> no joke. Level 85 Needle Queen I ended up beating the game with. Along with... I think it was Butterfree, Pikachu, Charizard, Dragonite, and Pidgeot. I think that was the team I had. Of course, that was back when I was in 8th grade. So that was... 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, 10 years ago. <laughs> I just spit that fucking one. And I'm going to store that Pokeball because I don't need it right now. And god damn, dude. <laughs> this, this, woo. Really, you miss a sand attack? That's ironic. <laughs> Help me out, though. Take it. Thanks, dumbass.
You put fire red and leaf green here. Or leaf green. I have leaf green on here as well. Maybe I can play that sometime. Or, you know, maybe I play on my phone. That way I could, like, edit every and everything. But yeah, I decided to play this on my Chromebook to, sh like, so I wouldn't have to edit. And you got to see the process of things I did when I did this on the cartridge. I'm literally going to do everything exactly how I did it on cartridge. We're gonna get to reach level 17 after we double kick this Rattata, by the way. Yeah, not even Sabrina was... <laughs> Took as many re resets as Misty did. Like, I think I reset like three times against Sabrina. Like, three times against Sabrina. And she, she was not as hard as fucking Misty was. That's saying a lot. <laughs> We have to remember, her Kadabra and Alakazam are really fucking fast. And considering this is Generation 1, they're pretty much unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. And I was level 49. My Nido Queen was level 49 when I got to Sabrina. So, I was lower level than Sabrina, Abra was. Her Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam in yellow are all level 50. They, they're all level 50. I was one level lower than Abra. And Abra is faster than Nidoqueen, actually. I'm not kidding. Abra is faster than the final, than the final evolution. It is insane. <laughs> and that's a nice crit. Thank you, game. The next move we learn is Poison Sting, by the way. We learn at level 19. At least I outspeed Spiro. I'll take it. Yeah, I might actually get past this whole section without having to heal. 
I actually had to heal on cartridge. <laughs> One shot that Rattan didn't even need the second double kick. I'm doing good damage now. And now that I think about it, I really didn't have to reset against Misty. I just had to beat... I mean, regardless, I was going to have to fight Misty again anyway, even if I lost. But, yeah, I could have just kept beating her star, star you and just leveling up from getting the experience points from that. But, I'll probably do that this time around. You have a little over half HP. After we beat this map, we're going to level up and learn Poison Sting. Like I said, I know. Now for a good while, this is going to be our move set. This is going to be our move set for a good while. At least until we get to the SSN. Double kick Jigglypuff, because Gen 1, it's not fairy type until Gen 6. So Jigglypuff's normal type. So it's called fairy. Oh, so that's water gun. How do I know it's water gun? Because again, it's Gen 1. I've played this game so many times. Like, I know what the TMs are. That's free potion number 6. Because you have to remember, I used 2 against the 1 last in Viridian Forest. So, yeah. That's fruit potion number six. We get one more free normal potion in the game. I'm not going to use poison sting against this wheel because it's a weedle. I, eh. But poison sting... Poison... Is strong against bug types. Except. Unless they use Harden. I mean. Then, even then it's still super effective. But doesn't do as much as it would.
Poison's weak against Bug as well. So, yeah, which is why Leech Life did a good amount of damage. Because Leech Life is a Bug type move. So, Bug's weak against Poison, Poison's weak against Bug. In Gen 1, at least. Because Nidor Nidoran and Nidorina are pure Poison type. Nidoqueen's Poison Ground. Ooh, nice. The crit didn't really matter, though. Because I still needed two hits for a double kick. So, the crit didn't really matter. One double kick. Cool. Level up? Nope. It would have been a level up if it was a trainer Zubat, but come on! Fuck Zubat. Zubat sucks. And in Gen 1, Magnemite's pure electric type, because Steel type wasn't a thing yet. Not until Gen 2. So yeah, we'll be fine. 21. One HP, just barely. You lucky bitch. Not lucky enough. You lose. <laughs> and that's free potion number seven. You don't get any more f normal free free normal potions anymore. That rare candy is really going to come in handy, by the way. You see, look how much more damage we're doing now. <laughs> yeah, you're probably wondering why I'm past level 20 and Drax had Pokemon up to level 20. Will listen to you without fail. It's because it's generation one. It's bugged to as it's bugged to hell. Meaning that not only do Moves even that don't miss, even moves that can't miss, will miss one out of 256 times. 
I could be level 50 at this point, and my Nidorina will still listen to me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not kidding. It is bugged that much. And I love Jadwold for it. <laughs> Fuck, you can, you can have a level 100 Gengar and a level 100 Needle King at this point. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. That is an actual thing you could do. Because glitches. Gotta love them. I certainly do. <laughs> Again, that's without game sharks. You can even walk through walls in Gen 1 without using game shark or game genie codes. Yes, it is a thing by the way. You can do that. That's how bugged Gen 1 is. It is beautiful for that. What are you doing? I love explaining Gen 1 to people. <laughs> and then level 23? Yeah, obviously 22, but remember. Real candy. Give Nidorina one extra at HP. That's Mega Punch. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm Ooh, nice! I will take that crit. Thank you. I'm actually a higher level than I was on the cartridge. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. That's going to come in handy later. By the way, that's going to come in handy. Why? This is gonna end well for you, dude. I don't need to do much damage. Well, your Pokemon sucked, dude. <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? You need a Moonstone? The one Moonstone I'm gonna need.
This is an easy win. Level up. The next move we get to learn is Tail Whip, and I'm not learning that. Actually, yeah, you know what? I will deposit this Moonstone. Just so I don't use it on accident. We've already been through here. This is just a long hallway, so I'm... Yeah. <sighs> Goose tackle. Good. Next up is Zubat. Again. I'm one-shotting Zubats with Scratch now. Okay. That's cool, I was going to use Poison Sting anyway. <laughs> Perfect. Coffer! We're going to level up right here, by the way. And a crit, nice. Lord Helix. Do -do 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 -do. And it's Jesse and James. Do 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 do. I'm I miss them in the ant from I miss them already, dude. They were some of the best characters in the anime, but now that Ash's journey has come to an end for the anime, at least for right now, we don't we won't get to see them, probably. So and that kind of sucks. Because again, they were 
They were probably the best characters in the anime. James especially was amazing. He still is. James is the best trainer in the anime. Like, he... They work for an evil organization? Sure. But they themselves are not evil. They're literally just doing their job. I'm poison type dumbass. You smog is not gonna do shit. Fuck, dude, I remember the Sun and Moon episode about James and his Marini. Fuck that, dude. That episode was sad. But it showed you what kind of character James was, actually is. He, he, he's a good guy. Like, he really is, was, he really is a good guy. I like James. Everybody likes James. Everybody just likes Team Rocket. James is really smart, too. Mega kick. Oh, fuck, no. It's, it, well, in Gen 3, we fire in a leaf green. There are two trainers there. One te allows you to learn Mega Punch, and one allows you to learn Mega Kick. Which is... I kind of mix them up. So, my bad. I'm gonna go in this gym. I'm not going to battle Misty yet. Because I'm gonna fight the battle these trainers, get as much experience as I possibly can, and then as get as many levels as I possibly can, and then I will battle Misty. Because again, I couldn't beat Misty until I reached level 29. And I had just barely beaten Misty. But yeah, this this is not easy. Oh no. Oh no. Finally. Good. 26. All right. <sighs> I 
Going to lower my defense. Okay. Sandshrew can learn Poison Sting somehow, by the way. Oh, oh great, Sand Attack. That's nice. <laughs> Cue the level up, by the way. 27. Or not? Oh, okay. Huh. That's actually the first time I haven't leveled up there. Damn, it's one in the morning almost. <laughs> okay. I didn't even take any damage that whole battle. I got seared attack like once. <laughs> it didn't do anything. Yeah, even though Weedle's part poison type, it's still bug type, so it's still super effective. But because it's part poison type, is it's that's why it didn't take as much damage as Carapy did. There's the level up. All right. <sighs> Easy victory. Yeah, of course we use double kick whenever it's a normal type. Just get it out of the way immediately, pretty much. And got a crit on the Ekans. Nice. Oh, that's not good. Did the screen shake vertically for a little bit? Or are my eyes playing tricks on me? Huh. Okay. I'm just getting started, bitch. <laughs> Number four, is, I'm just getting started. Why?
I was about to say, if this is a crit, I win. And it was a crit. Cool. <laughs> I'll stop you. No, you won't. You won't do shit. I mean, he's gonna do a good amount of damage. Cause Mankey. Got Karate Chop. Karate Chop is a good amount of damage. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna double kick. Gonna double kick into a scratch and then I win. Oh yeah, and Fire Red and Leaf Green, you can literally farm this nugget as many times as you want. You can literally farm this nugget. All you have to do, beat the five trainers on Nugget Bridge, and when you get the nugget, you have to lose against this guy. And then he'll just keep giving you nuggets and you have to keep repeating the process over and over. I might show you one of these days. And it's, again, you can do it as many times as you wanted. So you can max out your money by doing it. Of course, it's very time consuming, especially on an actual cartridge, which you would have to pay like over a hundred bucks for. I'm not kidding. Because that's how much Fire and Leaf Green go for. Yeah, I'm not joking. Pokemon games tend to be like really fucking expensive for literally just no reason. Probably because again, they're Pokemon games and of course, that's what Game Boy consoles were mostly known for. Pokemon games. So that might be why. They're so expensive. It doesn't matter which... In fact, gold, silver, and crystal are the most expensive, probably the most expensive Game Boy Pokemon games. And that's Gen 2. And granted, I understand why, because you go through Johto and Kanto, so I can understand why. And Pokemon Yellow on its own loose, and I know this, loose on its own is 61 bucks. So it is pretty much... As it's it costs just as much as it did back then. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Sixty bucks. Well, it costs sixty one, but you know what? I mean. It is. A, they are ridiculously expensive. And of course not everybody can afford something like that. Of course it's more of a want than a need. But even if you did have the money for it, it's still too expensive. You can just emulate it. But then people say, Ooh, but there's piracy. Ooh, you can get arrested by Nintendo and sued by Nintendo. Nintendo doesn't fucking sell the games anymore. So if I were to... Buy like an actual cartridge. It Nintendo wouldn't be getting any of profit regardless. And people fail to understand that for whatever reason. Thunder Wave. That moves nothing. So if Nintendo's not selling the game. They wouldn't be getting the profit, so... Yeah. <laughs> and you know how scalpers and collectors are. Of course, it's coming from someone who has a 500... Who owns a $500 game. Two... More than 250 if you count just the disc I own own. Coming from someone who owns a game that expensive, like, yeah. I would know. It's not really worth that much. They're good games, but you can literally just emulate them. <laughs> like, I just got lucky. 
I just got lucky. <laughs> First, let's battle. I'm gonna kick your ass. Five damage was a crit from a level seventeen onyx. Okay. It should have been more than that, but sure. Use tackle. Uh, good. I'm hoping for at least something that's not quick attack. Nice crit. I'll take it. I'm saving right here just in case I don't press the wrong button. And go in front of him. Because if I go in front of him, I can't do the Mew glitch. So I'm really making sure I don't step in front of him. Let me see level 29. Come on, let me see level 29. Okay. Not yet. Okay. I'm cool with that. Because my attack was lowered. I'm gonna use... Yeah, even Scratch didn't do it enough. <laughs> because it lowered my attack. Don't need to do that much, so... Gonna poison sting it. And then why are you standing here? <laughs> if you wanna see build, fucking why are you standing here? Come on, level 29. I want to see level 29. There it is. Yeah, double kick's going to be our most useful move in this whole game, by the way. As I mentioned earlier. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Well, she's going back to dump your ass. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You stupid dude. Why? This Ekans is shit. Get out of here. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Let's 
Seismic Toss. Can't learn it. Okay. Kadabra. No, Abra can learn it. But again, I'm doing this with just a Nido Queen in my party. Of course, I have to get it to a Nido Queen. But yeah, you know what I mean. Well, that's not good. But it did nothing for him anyway. She has a bell sprout and two oddish. So Yeah. Easy battle. Oh, I guess never mind. Okay. I'm thinking blue, red and blue. What are you doing? Okay. Sure. You suck. <sighs> yeah, this part's the same. Oh, so I'm going to do one with Nidorina, and then I'm going to do one with Nidoqueen, see w what the damage difference is. And based on that, well, it, de it ma depends on if I win here with my Nidorina or not. Level 30, all right. I, I should be faster than Stormy now. And I'm not, shit. At least Bubble Beam's not doing as much as it normally would. Which is a good thing, by the way. Like I said, she likes it, her Stormy knows Harden and she likes to use X defenses. Okay, that one hurt.
And because Stormy's water fight psychic type, it's part psychic type as well. Poison's thing won't do much. It'll poison Stormy with like a 30% chance it'll poison Stormy. But that's a 70% chance that it won't. And even if it does poison it, it still won't do much damage before doing so. And again, double kick won't do much either. I won! I mean, I had to use two potions, but I mean, I won! And the thing is, if I did have- if I did evolve Fighting Arena with the Moonstone, I would have lost. Because again, Nidorina's- I mean, not Nidorina- Nido Queen's Poison Ground, and Ground is weak against water, so... Yeah, I'm probably not gonna win that if I evolve my Nidorina. I'm going to need this Bulbasaur for cut. Okay, I guess I'm going with Charmander for cut. Because Charmander can learn cut, too. So I'm going to go with... I'm going to get the Charmander up here. Before I move on. Yeah, we're only going to use Charmander for cut, by the way. I do so much more damage now. See, look how much damage I do. God, yo. Level 30 as well. So yeah, I'm doing... I'm doing some serious damage now. And again, since Nido Queen is part ground type, electric type moves aren't going to do shit to me. Not even Thunder Wave, which is a status move, will do anything to me. Because Thunder Wave is still an electric type move. And this is a long path, so. And get the full restore right here. Long path. Get out of here.
Now I'm gonna beat your ass again. Here we go. What's your level 16 weeping bell going to do to me? I'm a level 30 needle queen. What are you going to, what's your level 16 weeping bell going to do? Increase your special? Yeah, that helped you. Dumbass. I'm beat your ass too. Q-Bone? Which a cube? It's got Bone Club. Which is super effective. Because Bone Club is a fighting type move. I think... I think it's a fighting type move. Instead of have one HP, Poison thing did we finished it off. But yeah, again, part ground type, so it's super effective. Might be rock type, actually. Or ground. It is ground, that's right. Even though, honestly, it should be fighting type move, not ground type. It's weird. And quite confusing. Oh, you lucky bitch. Always oh, two HP. Come on. Okay, that's cool. Further proof that even one sand attack can fuck you over. That's three sand attacks. And even one can fuck you over for the entire battle. It's bullshit. I hate that move. Okay, so if that one got one shot, why did the other two? <laughs> Thanks, game. That's Gen 1 for you. <laughs> sometimes you love it, sometimes you hate it. <laughs> it's Gen 1. At least I'm not affected by sand attack anymore. I'm going to one shot this eradicate. Ah, uh, Viridian City. Well, this is a Viridian. This is Vermilion City. <laughs> what the fuck am I thinking? <laughs> Nido Queen unfortunately can't learn dig. So yeah. 
It's a useless move. Because again, Nita Queen can't learn Dig, which sucks because Dig would have been really helpful. But yeah, I'm gonna end this first part here because <laughs> we're getting to the SS and. And even on fast forward, this takes almost an hour to do. So yeah, I'm done for this episode.